Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and rage war. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makarkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and shalom to the Akim. Scattered through the four winds of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. I say shalom to the Akim out there, and this is a sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, two news articles. And this first one from uh, ArabNews.com. And this is, um, and it reads, My more genitile aligned military defeat to rebels during heavy clashes. It says, um, fighting has ravaged swatches of the country since the military 2021 putsch. Border guard forces, the factors have taken weapons and ammunition with them. And this is a uh, AFP as of June the 29th, 2023, and it reads, My more anti coup fighters briefly seized several border outposts at the junction aligned military defective and joined the rebels sparking days of heavy clashes. That media report on Thursday, fighting has ravaged parts of the country since the military 2021. What's estimated ethnic rebel groups training and fighting along newer people defense force against the junta. It says a re Rudge Kaya take a uh, state of the border with Thailand has become. What up, Mandy? Oh, what's up, Mandy? You want to do that thing tomorrow, Auntie? Mm. <laughs> you like me? You went on so long over there. <clears throat> you want to go? Mm hmm. Huh? Mm hmm. It's up to you. Yeah. Oh. Like me, so mm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It says fighting has raised watch of the country in the, since the military 2021 with some established ethnic rebel groups training and fighting along the newer people defense force against the junta. Rug State on the border was Thailand has become a resistant hotspot hosting thousands of democratic protesters turning to PDF fighters. Five border posts in the state made by the Border Guard Force BGF uh, troops have come under massive attacks from the from anti coups between June the 13th and 19th. So yeah, this was recently as well too. Uh, the June state media says it says they are often deployed side by side with regular troops communications with the VGF posted in the painting Southeast Kaya was cut from several days according to the state back global new light of my more fighters at the uh, BGF post has betrayed the state in Time, time of dog military by launching a rebellion and joining the anti coup fighters. A report it said without specs, specifying how many uh, the defected the defectors have taken weapons and ammunition with them. The report says, backed by air and artillery strikes, and military has since retaken the post at Potan on June the 17th. It added. Another BG pulse of the scope pin was recaptured on June 27. The military has suffered casualties, officials, and other ranks have said without giving details. Dozens of June time troops have defected, according to the opposition National Unity Government, that is made up mostly outlasting lawmakers and which working to overturn the coup. PDF groups have surprised the military with their 
effectiveness analysts say they have dragged the military into a bloody corromery. It says in February, the Juntai admitted, admitted it did not fully control more than a third of the ship's country's townships. On Thursday, 20 meters of a bridge on a highway linking commercial hub Yungon in the Thai border was mined and destroyed in the Juntai. Uh, information team said the drone attack on soldiers and officials suspecting the damage killed two and wounding ten civilians, as well as members of the security forces added. And the official of the ethnic Korean uh, National Liberation Army said that their troops and PDF fighters have mined the bridge. The, KN, the KNLA, which has clashed with the military for decades, has been a vocal opponent of the coup and provided shelter in distant, a distance working to out the junta battle fierce opposition on the ground experts, ex, um, ex, experts say the military is restoring artillery strikes and air power on Tuesday a military airstrike on a village in northern Sungin region another hotbed of resistance to Juntai rule killed 10 civilians and locals and media reported oh what's up man What you looking for, Anthony? I must just woke up I'm looking on the phone. Yep. Yeah, you talking about how hot it is. It's going to be hot today. Yeah, it is. Wild marshes, what they going to do? Right. Yeah. Oh, you go, you, you go uh, ahead. I say you go ahead and go, man. We we go in there just to get out the house. No, I'm saying you go ahead and go home stay. That's why you don't want to go with me, and I'm an old lady. <laughs> no, I'm look good because I'm an old lady. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, go. It starts when it's one o'clock. Uh yeah, one to four o'clock. Okay, I'll go over there. I ain't going to nobody's house over there. Right. Yeah, I just let you go ahead and go. I I stay here tomorrow. You may have spent you never know. Yeah. yeah. a lot here for that my apology but i'm gonna continue on with the next article and this is a uh, article right here from uh my more uh once again from arabnews.com and this is uh updated june the 28th 2023 and now 41 p.m that regional time and it reads my more airstrikes kills 10 civilians local media reports it says the Myanmar military has carried out more than 300 airstrikes in the last year. The United Nations said in March its efforts to crush out resistance to the junta that was installed after the civilian government outlaws in 2021. It says the uh, we'll continue on. It says uh, a Myanmar military airstrike on a village killing 10 civilians, locals, and media reports said on Wednesday. Fighting has ravaged the swaths of the members since the coup in 2021, with the, with the uh, junta battling ethnic rebels and dozens of new people defense force across the country. Rights groups accusing the military of extrajudicial killings and raising villages and using airstrikes as a collective punishment of its opponents. A military just dropped three bombs in Naiwan Krom village in the northern Saigon region on Tuesday afternoon, according to the Ko Zartun and anti-coup fighters from the village. Ten people were killed and eight injured, he said. There were no fightings, but they came to bomb the village, he added, saying 11 houses has been destroyed in the attack. And the resident of the Nam Nagrum Kom, if I pronounced that right, also said that 10 people have been killed in the strike. He and other locals criminated the death later that evening, he said. 
asking not to use his name due to fear of reprisal. We do not know what their the military next plan is, so we just held funerals for them as soon as we could, he said. The BBC, Burmese, and other local media also reported air strikes with some outlasting, saying nine people had been killed. Images published by the local media shows working to those small during the bursts and ash in large buildings and ruins. It says the AFP digital verification reports confirms the images has not be appeared online before Tuesday. More than two years after launching its coup, the military is struggling to crush resistance to its rule. Battle fierce oppositions on the ground. Experts say it's resorting to artillery strikes and air power. The military carried out more than 300 airstrikes last year, and the United Nations said in March. Bring up that Luke 21 and 25 again. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, the scores of nations were perplexities. And the seas and worries were right with seditions and uprisings over there in that area of Mymore. That had been lasting for quite a while, from 2021 all the way to 2023, as of currently. And this is... This is a second Ezra's. Salakia. And this is a uh, second Ezra chapter nine verse three and it reads to the holy scriptures of the apocrypha books, holy scriptures of second Ezra nine and three and it reads Therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars and the people of the world, right? That's the uh, Right, that's the main that's the main that's the main word uproars, seditions and uprises that have been happening over there in Mymore for the past couple of years now. And they've definitely been on going on and off and intensifying in that area. It's a prime example. Um Second Ezra's chapter fifteen verse fifteen. It says, Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 15 of the Apocrypha books, Holy Scriptures, and it reads, For the sword and destruction draw off nigh, and one people should stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. Right, that's what we've been seeing over there in Mymore. Anti coops going against governments and officials and stuff like that over there for the past couple of years, and it's happening right now as a current. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 16 and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. For there should be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions. Should stand in their power right. anti coup groups try to overthrow the government over there. You know, both sides are uh, escalation between one another. You have airstrikes over there heavy clashes and fightings and seditions been increasing over there so with that hopefully this uh sit down lesson was edifying of this recent news article um uh, both two news articles one was a uh air my more airstrike killing 10 civilians and my more recently had a uh my more junction aligned military def defect to rebel during heavy clashes that as well too so with that hopefully this lesson was edifying of the reading of the news article and the uh, holy scriptures in reference to these two news articles that i read as well too in adding uh, additional notes to it as well too so with that hopefully this was edifying i would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to yahweh bashem yahweh shab bashem akarkadash shalom to the uh, elders for preaching word truthfully and sincerely and shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.